And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And this year we are honoring the veterans. We hope to have a wonderful and successful event. The sun is shining, our volunteers are here. We are really concerned for the well-being and the health of the vets, and we appreciate what they do for us, and we know they struggle, and we want to help in any way we can. My name is Jim Shea. I was in the United States Marine Corps in Vietnam in 1969 with a group called the Walking Dead. We just don't honor them enough, so anything we can do to let them know they're cared about and loved and people are thinking about them, I think is awesome. My third day in Vietnam, 88 out of 103 men were killed or wounded. We're gonna give them special recognition for you know all the great things that they've done to keep this country great. I'm getting married again to my original wife. Um, and uh, she likes it when I have my teeth in. When I joined the Navy, I had a brother at the same time that was in the Army. And he volunteered for Vietnam so I didn't have to go. I lost him to Agent Orange at the age of 33. We have American flags for the cheers for docs. There will be docs specifically that will be treating the veterans. The veterans' name tags will have the American flag on them. You're gonna look and see a patriotic clinic that's gonna be honoring our vets. We have a full 18-wheel tractor-trailer truck that has all of the equipment for the entire clinic packed up in the tractor-trailer truck because it's all portable folding dental equipment. We strive to set up a full-service dental office of 120 chairs. We have the portable x-ray units, we have the panoramic x-ray units, we have these huge suction systems and air and water systems, umbilical setup. It's it's pretty pretty incredible. Just recently I was at the VA trying to get help, a real bad infection, a gum infection from a tooth. The only thing I did get from them was an antibiotic. I love him, you know. He's my dad, I try to take care of him the best I can, he takes care of me. I'm a veteran, I served with the United States Air Force from the years 1979 to 1984. If you were injured in battle, they'll take care of your teeth, but anything other than that, they won't do it. Right now, I've got two bad teeth, but I'd really like to have them all yanked so I can get some dentures. I mean, if you look at my mouth, I, 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 I call myself Pumpkinhead, because I got no teeth, you know? <laughs> Welcome to the XL Center, Hartford, Connecticut, for the 10th Mission of Mercy. We are really excited to have you here with us today. This is so important. You see by the fact that we've had folks lined up since 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, how needed this is, how important it is. Let's give a big thank you to everybody who lends their time to making thank this you. possible. And I hope you guys are able to get the care that you need. And, uh, and I hope the long wait is worth it. So thank you guys for, for being here. Thanks for everything you Thanks. do. Thank you, Mayor. Open her up. In Connecticut alone, there's probably a population of somewhere around 4 million. And a million of those people cannot afford to go to private dentistry. So many of our dentists that are here working today are veterans themselves and it's their opportunity to talk to and to help give back to those people who have walked a mile in the shoes. I served in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I was uh, an ROTC lieutenant and was in a uh, ordnance field supply company. It baffles me that the government cannot produce a dental program for these particular individuals that have served our country. I really appreciate what they do, it's fantastic. It really is. Uh, give the dentist a tremendous amount of credit. We have a number of repeat patients 
and they come and look for this clinic every year and we've become their dental home. The dentist last year was top notch. It's kind of a great emotional gift to me that, that, that somebody you know, does take care of me. They took impressions and they pulled the tooth and they're going to send that, the impressions to a lab and they're going to build a new tooth and I'm coming back tomorrow and they're going to put in a prosthetic. Now I've saved myself uh, probably $3,500 that I never had. So <laughs> how amazing is that? All right, Peter. You turn around when you're ready. Yeah, now you can smile without a hole. Take that, spin it around when you're ready. Take a look. Good. <laughs> what do you think, my friend? Looks great. Looks great. Looks great. It's heart wrenching when people have given of themselves, sometimes literally given parts of their body, parts of their time, parts of their psyche to their service to their country. I really feel strongly that the, we have an obligation to be of service back and thank them for that, their service to, to our nation. I'm an Air Force veteran, you're an Air Force veteran, so two veterans to each other. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. appreciate all you've done. Yeah, yeah, very much so. If you get a chance to come, come, because they take care of you. It's a true gift, and it's really, it's really wonderful to receive, and I'm very thankful for it.